This will be episode 25, and I'm going to kind of step back, and way back in episode 6, I made some of the uh, lifeboats, and I want to go back and review that. At the time, in episode 6, I had very little experience, and I really struggled in putting these two lifeboats together. What I've learned in the process sometimes it's better to slow down and just stop and contemplate what you're about to do when you're building especially the really small parts of the ship so what I've done here I've laid out all the parts that I need this is a piece of scrap by stepping back and taking my time let me move the oars out of the way since they're not going to be needed and the first time I took the bottom and tried to glue these framing pieces on that. So instead of trying to attach to this, I'm going to start out with the lower part of the ship where I can attach these. And I think I can do that a lot more efficiently. See how much straighter that is? So once I get all those attached, that's when I can put this into place. So let me get the rest of these done. And I'll, uh, I'll do it on a time lapse photography and then you can see each piece go in place. the framework on the lifeboat. It was much easier than these, although it was still laborsome. I'm in the process of bending the planks for the hull of the, the lifeboat. So I've cut them to the approximate length and then I'll cut them off shorter. And I've been soaking these for several minutes. And the heat, if you just slowly apply pressure, We'll slowly bend that moistened plank. My preferred way is to put the front edge piece on and just glue it at the front part and I'm going to let that dry. Make a beveled edge so it fits smoother. So actually when it comes down to it, it doesn't look that much different. It was easier for me to build. I think I put one of the benches in the wrong spot too close to each other. So I finished all three lifeboats. This one I think is the newest, yeah. It was a little easier to build the way I did it this time. I've got it sanded. I've got one coat of stain. I'll probably just leave one coat and then I'll put the tongue oil on that. Two of them I'll mount on the deck of the ship and then this latest one I made I may suspend out over the edge and make a rope hanger. I've been working on these dead eyes. I've got them in place. There's a small board that will go to cover that partially up. So I've got all those in place. I ran into a little difficulty. There are some little holes back here and looking at other ships there should be a rail and I don't have anything to make that rail. So I'm thinking of using toothpicks to give me a starting point and to taper one end and then I'll have to taper the other end manually. So that's something I'll work on in the next several days because I want to have that done before I actually start a lot of the rigging. 
I received requests that asked me to continue showing the work that I'm doing as I'm going, so I'm going to try to continue to do that. I won't do a lot of detail on the actual rigging, but I will show you different points once I get to something that I'm successful at. And so you can look forward to more videos from Boiler Dan.